Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are not in the studio. There's some work that is being done over there. We're going to change up the scenery just a little bit. But nonetheless, we need to talk about when the MOS is going to happen, in my personal opinion. Now, I could be right. I could be wrong, but I'm going to provide you guys my thesis on why I think the MOS will happen in this time frame. And I think you guys will find a lot of value out of it. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it's only logical to expect this time frame. Now, it could come sooner, could come later, but this is where I would personally bet my own money on. And obviously, this is not a financial recommendation video. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, what to buy, what to hold, what to sell. I don't care if you guys buy or, or hold or sell AMC. I actually want people to sell because that's going to be more people FOMOing in when the next big catalyst comes, when there's another reason to buy the stock any substantial way, like we've seen with this 45% day. That did not happen because people are buying and holding the stock. This 45% day happened because people have sold out that jumped back in. So that's a little bit of my thesis right there. But let's dive into this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Come join us on the live stream later on tonight, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come ask your questions. Come get the news. Come get the futures. Come talk about trades for this week. We got a lot of earnings that are coming up this week. It is earnings season, baby, and we are back in action we have a strategy ready to go and it's going to be very exciting if you guys want to come trade with us live in real time get access to everything i trade link down below in the pinned comment but let's dive into this video so where my thesis comes from let's just put that out there and the first thing i have to say it has nothing to do with the price action of amc stock i don't care if amc is five dollars i don't care if amc is fifty dollars per share it has nothing to do with the price of the stock that's the most important thing you have to look at the hedge fund institution uh you know investing frame right we'll just call it that we'll call it that for lack of a better word you have to look at what is going on in their environment that's probably a better word their environment over the course of the next coming months because what's the difference between a margin call and being forcefully liquidating and, and liquidated and forced to cover on short positions well the only difference is if you had less money or not enough money to cover a margin call you would get forcefully liquidated i think that's pretty straightforward and i think people uh, understand that so the price of the stock has nothing to do with that right we want to see margin calls yes people love margin calls but margin calls don't mean shorts covering margin calls mean shorts covering when they don't have enough collateral when they don't have enough money to service their margin calls now that's the basis of all of this which direction are we heading into well we're heading into a into a direction where rates are going up the market environment is becoming more and more turbulent which it will be throughout this entire year so what is that doing it's making capital more expensive think about it like this and remember this when the environment becomes more risky people demand more money because if hedge funds are getting money they're getting money from someone or something right either a bank another hedge fund uh you could use your imagination there there's a lot of places they would get capital but let's say you wanted to invest all of your money in uh amc or DraftKings or sofi or lucid one of these more risky stocks right we're going to use air quotes on that risky stocks you're going to want a lot more interest for uh, you know, somebody lending out your money or taking your money. You're going to want more money for that because it's more risky. You have a less chance of getting paid back. Now, imagine if somebody wanted to invest it into Apple, Microsoft, Google, you're going to charge them a little bit less. Now, the individual stock in this case does not matter. You got to look at it in the terms of the market environment. We've went up, we've went down, historic drops, historic rallies already this year. Nothing about this year has been uh, short of extraordinary. It, it, we've seen record drops. We've seen record rallies in record amount, short amount of time. It's been a wild year. And you guys are going to look back at 2022 and say, what the hell happened in 2022? So we're heading into a more volatile market environment, especially as earnings do start to come out. So people are going to demand more money to 
uh, basically lend out their money, a higher interest rate. And we see that currently going on with the bond market. And the bond market is absolutely, absolutely when just buck shit crazy since March 30th rates were at about 1.75%. Now they're at 2.82%, meaning that the rates have went up. So that means margin rates, that means auto loans, that means home loans, all of that has went up. So it becomes more expensive to stay in these revolving lines of credit like a margin loan is. It becomes more expensive. So what does that mean? Well, hedge funds have to pay out more money. That's not good. But when rates go up on bonds, it actually makes the price of bonds fall because the yield, what you get paid on a bond is fixed like a dividend stock. So when a dividend stock goes down, the yield goes up. When a dividend stock goes up, the yield goes down, right? So long story short, hedge funds are losing in the bond market. They're losing in the bond market, and that's much larger than the stock market. But the average hedge fund portfolio is made up of 60% stocks, 40% bonds. So it's still a minority position uh, in a hedge fund's portfolio. Now, what has the stock market done in this time frame? Well, if you look at the S&P 500, like I said, you've seen record drops and you've seen a record rally right this was a record fall we've we've really never fallen this hard in the stock market uh besides a couple times in history so this is uh one of only a couple times we've really cratered uh this fast and had such record days like look at these candles look at this candle you were down like three and a half percent on all indexes this day february 24th and the markets bounced right back and actually closed the day substantially green that was a record in and of itself. So volatility has went up, right? Stocks have went back up for the most part. Now they're sitting in a very dangerous level. You're either going to head down and hit lower lows or you're going to head back up. But you've really been range bound. Now, now you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with AMC and hedge funds covering? Well, hedge funds, they use their portfolio to service their margin calls. If they have uh, a portfolio or certain sec sectors of a portfolio that are not used to collateralize margin, then when a catalyst comes out for AMC, when AMC stock starts to rally, hedge funds can take that section of their portfolio and use it as collateral in their margin loans. Because the only thing these guys, these banks, these brokers that lended the hedge funds money care about is getting repaid back if they're putting up apple as collateral or google they don't care how long a hedge fund stays in their short position right if it's a certain dollar amount that meets that certain dollar amount requirement of a margin loan or a margin call they don't care what's in there if it's bonds if it's stocks or if it's cash they don't care riskier assets obviously you have to deposit more into that margin loan right Pretty straightforward there, and I think everybody understands that. But I think the market is going to come back down, especially here in the next couple of months. Now, why do I say that? Like I've talked about many times, the markets revolve around only a couple things, really, right? Fear, greed, news, which could kind of be categorized as the same thing and fundamentals fundamentals are very very important now what has happened over the past two years well people have been given a bunch of free money people have really went crazy on just buying it anything they wanted to when they didn't have this free money people got stimulus checks people were not working because the government was paying them more money so people went out and bought those iphones bought those ipads those macbooks you know went out and bought microsoft products like xboxes and ps5s right so they did a lot of their shopping already and odds are when you buy an iphone or a macbook you don't really go out and buy one the next year right so all of these companies have had pretty much record revenue now what is going to happen in this year they're going to see substantial negative earnings growth let's say apple 
and let's go ahead and pull up Apple for the sake of this video. And keep in mind that Apple controls about 7% of the S&P 500 and what hedge funds have been doing is flooding their money into safe stocks like Apple, especially during these volatile times. That's why Apple has been very, very resilient to a lot of the drops that we have seen in the markets. But if you go ahead and look at the revenue numbers for Apple, Q4 2021, you've seen $124 billion of revenue. Quarter before that, $83 billion. Quarter before that, $81 billion. Uh, quarter before that, $89 billion. Well, what kind of revenue numbers did you see in 2020, 2019? Well, you've seen $64 billion of revenue, $53 billion of revenue, $58 billion, $84 billion right 91 billion around christmas time you didn't really see these crazy numbers um back then you know 50 to 65 billion was pretty usual and that was during a time where people were not flooded with extra funny money right so when that happens when you start to get more earnings that come out like that across the board for all companies and companies earnings actually decline that is not only going to scare investors but it is going to force investors to reconsider the valuations and that will drive down the markets and it will drive them down in a very substantial way in my personal opinion because the markets they really trade off of fundamentals if the fundamentals are not there to support market valuations long term over the course of you know three to 12 months they will revert back to normal you always see that happen especially for mature companies that control the stock market like your apples uh, uh, Facebook, right? Google's, Amazon's, those are the top holdings that really move the markets in a substantial way. So long story short, earnings are going to come down. These stock prices will come down. That will drive the markets to go down. And everything really besides energy and those tech stocks, uh, those large te tech stocks, Everything besides that is pretty much through the floor already. So once those tech stocks actually give up, you're going to probably see a substantial drop in the markets when that happens. And I think that'll happen here in the next couple of months. And what does that do? If the markets dropped, let's call it 30%, 40% to be crazy here. I don't know if that will happen, but if it falls that much, what's that going to do for hedge funds? Well, it's going to drop their overall portfolio values, right? that's less collateral they can put up for their short positions it also increases the cost of borrow rates because now everything is more volatile now it's a less chance that investors lending out money will get repaid back so they want a higher interest rate the bond market is destroyed and bonds are losing incredible amounts of value every single week now what does that mean ultimately when everything comes crashing down amc stock might head down as well but when AMC sees a catalyst and a reason to buy the stock, like we've seen with this 45% rally, that's where you start to get the margin calls that turn into forced share liquidations. Now, I've been very consistent with this. I actually think the MOS will happen late summer during fall time. I think it's going to take a little bit of time for the markets to fully realize like, hey, this might have been the peak earnings season, uh, you know, in 2021, 2022, then or not, I should, I should say 2020 and 2021, that we're going to see in a while. So we're not going to pay top dollar for these stocks anymore, like your apples. And I think that will take a little bit of time. But I think ultimately it's going to happen by summertime, really give it two, three quarters by fall. And you're going to really see investors repricing a lot of these stocks. And um, the collateral situation is, is going to be pretty bad for hedge funds. And I think with the smallest catalyst of AMC stock, like you've seen with Volkswagen, like Overstock, like other stocks that squeezed in 08, uh, you're going to see the same thing happen with AMC stock, but on a bigger mul multiple, right? A lot more people know about AMC. There's actually retail investors in the markets. Now, relative to 08, 09, there wasn't too many traders in the markets in a substantial way like that, but you still seen short squeezes in 08 and 09. So I do think... All of this built up momentum is going to really come together late summer, end of fall, when there's 
going to be a real scarcity of capital and considering the margin debt is still at about 850 billion dollars there's a lot of margin loans that are out there and if you start to lose on your bond portfolios on your stock portfolios and now your short positions go against you you're restricted on capital on all fronts and that's what turns margin calls into forced share liquidations now like i said just because the markets come down do does not mean there will be the moas just because of that i don't want you guys to be confused of that you need to see a catalyst you need to see something happen and i think adam aaron and his team of executives are already on top of it and they already know uh kind of what i'm telling you guys and i think that's kind of what they would expect if we were to sit down and talk with them in private as well so that's really my thesis that's that's kind of what i'm expecting or we might see rallies, sharp rallies like we've seen just over the past couple of weeks, uh, a couple times between now and then. But I think end of summer, fall, that's when you're really going to see the MOS. And the more people that get bearish, the more people that sell is music to my ears because they're going to be the ones that FOMO back in, that really push the stock to those crazy levels, hundreds or thousands of dollars per share. So that is really going to be all for this video. That is my perspective. Let me know your guys' perspective. When do you think the MOS will happen? Don't give me no funny bunny baloney bullshit let me know down below in the comment section what do you really think what is your real expectations thank you guys for watching hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already like i said if you guys want to join us down below in the trading group link in the pinned comment follow me on twitter all of that good stuff nonetheless you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one